Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another of my Part of Exile videos. Today I'll again show you results of 100 map rounds. In the previous video we did uh, 100 uh, vault rounds uh, and today I lowered the tier a bit. Actually I halved the, the tier, went from tier 12 to tier 6 because in tier 6 is um, Spider Forest, a map uh, that together with uh, which one is the other one? I think Burial Chambers are the two maps that uh, drop the Doctor Divination card, the Divination card that uh, uh, can be traded for Headhunter. And first, I really wanted to try to get uh, the Doctor, at least one, but it's the, not the only thing that... Um, I was interested in there is one more divination card that i wanted to see it's uh this one called the first ones that uh, gives uh, tier one talisman i was really curious what the drop rate of this card is so uh that's the that's the other reason why i wanted to try it and of course i have uh uh, the other uh, drops as well, so I'll tell you how much I invested and how much I got back and uh, This will be without the doctor card because the drop rate of that of that specific card is so low that even in uh, 100 rounds we can't like reliably sell it will drop like once and we can count it to the statistics uh, if you get it in uh, 100 rounds, you are real lucky. If you don't, well, it's more likely that you don't actually. But uh, enough talking. In the previous video, many people said that I could uh, or I should speed things up. So I'll try to do that. And I also calculated uh, the value of items that, or most of the items that I got. So I'll tell you uh, a bit more precisely how much I invested and how much I got back. So first we start with the investment, 100 spider forests, I had to buy almost all of them and I was buying them for one chaos per map, I tried for less uh, at first but I was able to buy any, so I had to increase uh, the price I paid and ended up really paying one chaos per map, so we can safely say that was 100 chaos investment there and I also chiseled all of them and uh, random as uh, rare though this time i didn't have to re-roll that much because the real the only thing that i really didn't want to run was elemental resistance can't run that one so the re-rolling wasn't that expensive but uh, overall when i add up all the all the investments uh i ended up on the number 230 chaos i'll count uh, the investments and the profits in chaos today because the uh, price of uh, exalts has been a bit unstable lately and um, i think with chaos i can be a little bit more precise so investment around 230 chaos now when we look on what i got back we start uh, with uh, uh the smaller currencies so here uh whetstones uh scraps uh transmutation orbs all of those i'll just uh, vendor to get uh, to get uh, wisdom scrolls i wasn't picking up uh, yellow items only for chaos recipe uh, i wasn't just picking up the, picking them up to identify them and vendor them it's actually a waste of time and I normally don't do it so I uh, didn't want to do it just because I'm recording to like artificial increase the amount of orbs that I would get this uh, uh, these statistics I get from this I use for, for myself as well so there's I don't want to do something I don't do usually so this is uh, really just uh, alterations that dropped and maybe actually don't think that I vendored a single yellow item. So this is really just what uh, what dropped. Then we have augments. I kind of need these uh, four crafting still, so I was picking them up. Uh, but if you don't, you can speed things up a little bit. Uh, they're really not that important. You can get like 60 per kills or something like that. So. Uh, most of the time it's better to really just buy them when you need them and then bother with them picking them up but here just to have them as well in the statistic I actually did this time then we have uh, chromes again just uh, what dropped then jewelers 
uh, jewelers here of course um, I was picking up all the six sockets so that's included here uh, it's a decent number it's around 600 I think uh, chance orbs and some sextants together with silver coins here are essences you can check what that is uh, I got one of them run of corruption but it's not worth that much so together all these orbs are worth around where is it here around 100 chaos actually I calculated 102 chaos but there is no point in saying how much exactly is it worth right now because 12 hours from now it's going to be different and in two days it's probably going to be completely different but let's say around 100 chaos is the value of the first tab of the smaller currencies um, then we have uh, the bigger currencies uh, maybe I'll just start with um, mm, mm, maybe I'll start from chaos here these are chaos that I got from chaos recipe uh, the limiting factor for chaos recipe usually is the amount of amulets that they drop and I dropped uh, enough amulets to get uh, 60 chaos and I was doing the chaos recipe with unidentified items so I got uh, two chaos orbs uh, for from each recipe which means I got uh, 30 amulets drop uh, so that's uh, that and from just the drops it's these 41 so that's 101 chaos right there that's not bad uh, 41 is I would say average for 100 the map just the drops then um, uh, we have Algs again just drops same all of these are just drops I dropped three divines didn't drop a single exalt uh, from gem cutters um, eight dropped and six uh, is from uh, uh, superior gems I didn't divide them but I remember the number so uh, it's eight plus six Scourings, everything that dropped, glass blowers, that's also what dropped. I will I didn't bother picking up like quality flasks and vendoring them to get more. Just 17 dropped, and at this point, really no one cares about uh, baubles and 12 regrets. So the, here we have currencies. I think I calculated this separately, and I have somewhere the number. This gave me 252 chaos with current ratios, but let's say 250, again, the prices change quite quickly. Uh, next thing, let's move to... Let's move to splinters. I was quite lucky with uh, Chala, actually. 37 isn't bad, uh, considering that I didn't spawn a single Chala in Breach. Uh, all of this is just from the rares and uh, like hands, not from the boss. So 37 isn't bad, 35 Ulnitol, and then um, quite a few Zoff and Ash. Uh, the value of the splinters is like a around 80, 80 chaos with current ratios. Uh, the Chalice Sprint is give, uh, splinters giving quite a lot with current ratios. That's like uh, over two thirds of the value, I think. Uh, next I have, um, these are actually three items that I kept, uh, that are worth selling. I didn't get any other items that would be worth selling. Uh, Enlighten, uh, Primordial Harmony, currently around 7 kills or 8 kills, something like that. And Voice of the Storm that dropped in one of the breaches that is, I think, 15 an hour, something like that. Together, these um, are worth between 25 to 30 kills. So, um, just uh, interesting that from 100 maps you get three items that are actually worth something. Uh, I get some uh, more uniques that might be worth like one chaos, but I just am not selling uh, or trying to sell 1c items right now when it's five weeks into the league and there are like thousands of them. Um, so that's that and then we have divination cards so divination cards that drop uh, specifically from the map we have her masks uh, for the sack fragments uh how many is that it's like 13 plus so this one is not finished we can say that from 13 i should get like two midnight something like that 
so let's say I don't know something over 10 chaos between the, I don't know 12 to 15 chaos that's probably what I'm uh, what I can get from this in average uh, depends how lucky you are of course if you get more midnights you get more from that then next uh, divination card that's uh, for this map only uh, that's uh, incantation for Whispering Eyes, so I got 18 of those, but Whispering Eyes right now, even with a, like a perfect roll, is really not worried, worried much. So here I'll just vendor all of them. Uh, and then we have Gambler, it can drop from all maps, so I don't know what the value of Gambler actually is, but really not much. It just depends on what I get from this, and it's completely random, so I didn't really add the, these cards into the statistic. And then we have the Call to the First Ones. Uh, that's the one I was um, curious about. When I checked its price, it was only one chaos. You can get these for one chaos. And I got three from 100 maps. I don't know if I was so unlucky of there or if they are really so rare. But they're just not dropping. But they're cheap for some reason. I don't know. I kind of like them. It is the, this is the only way right now in the game how you can get the uh, talisman. So I'd expect them to be a bit more expensive because I think it's still possible to like vendor 5 tier 1 talisman and get uh, tier 2. If I remember correctly, that's the way how you get higher tier talisman. So eventually you can get to tier 2, tier 3 and those can be quite interesting. But well, who knows? Uh, just interesting to know. I really thought that uh, this uh, card could make the map more interesting. It didn't happen. Well... Uh, definitely not work worried farming this card. Really, the drop rate is horrible. And then I have just divination cards that dropped from one diviner strong box. Nothing super important, super interesting. One cartographer giving some extra currency. Uh, gem cutters. You can just quickly check uh, what the rest is. You can see that there really is not much to see. Maybe the jack in the box. Uh, so. Uh, that's here and by the way i also dropped one doctor so yeah i did get lucky um but as i said i'm not gonna add this to the statistic because this is just luck uh from the remaining things that i got from the map uh ton of uniques that are useless uh, well, among the a little bit more interesting ones, Wrath Pit Globe, um, right now with this horrible roll, where it less, just gonna vendor it. Maybe I'll try to uh, corrupt the Voidbringers to see what I get. Plus, with, I mean, if I roll like plus one to suck at the gems, could be worth something. Um, well, Toxic is worthless. Here in touch is like one Alk. Here again, there are some items that might be worth like an Alk or Chaos uh, with the good roll. But really not worth selling right now. So these are uniques. Uh, when we move on, I was also picking up uh, sorcery boots and the leather belts because we can actually consider these a currency because they have uh, a fixed ratio, basically, or fixed ratio. The ratio at which you can sell these is like between uh, five to eight for one chaos. So because of that and you can sell them quite easily because of that these can be almost considered the currency so that's why i'm picking them up but i'm not gonna sell them i'm gonna change them myself so these are um sorcery boots and here we have uh leather belts and then maps uh divided by tiers uh, i didn't drop a single tier one map interesting tier two three four blah 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 um what's useful from these really is just uh, maybe strands if you are leveling a new character you could run some of these and um, then i got tier 8 to atolls and the rest is just gonna end up uh, uh traded up three to one recipe what is interesting actually is that um, when i type in spider you can see that I didn't drop a single spider forest back. That really surprised me. Uh, I'd say that means that uh, spider forest actually has a lower drop rate than other maps. Uh, we are not getting a single one. 
is very surprising. So that's maps. And um, I think that's all. Oh, uh, before we before we get to chancing Sky for it, because that's uh, what I always do in the end of a uh, video like this. Uh, did we get back the investment or not without the doctor card? The investment that went in was like 230 chaos overall. And uh, when I add up all the... Uh, all the items uh, that I got back, the value is around 460 chaos, so I got back like a double of the investment. So it is worth running. Uh, and of course, if you get uh, the doctor card, uh, the uh, the profit increases very significantly, with current price being like 10 to 11 exalts. So yeah, these were the results, and now we could maybe make this even more interesting if we could uh, chance Sky for it. Of course, I'm not gonna do the Headhunter, I'll do that just uh, uh, off-camera and or off-camera recording and only publish if I actually do hit the Headhunter, but the chance is ridiculously low and I don't want to enter a map because of that, etc, etc, etc. Sky for it is much easier. So, let's do it. Nothing here. I really don't expect anything, but yeah, it would be pretty cool to hit Sky for it in the end of the video. Nope. But still, well, I have the doctor, so that's uh, good enough. Um, and uh, yeah, this will be all for this video. Uh, if you want to see those drops, I have them recorded and they'll be in the end of this after uh, after I like end the official part. So as usual, I hope that you like this video, uh, that you're gonna join me for the next one. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.